This video is sponsored by sellcashier.com where it compares iPhone prices on the interwebs and then gives you a quick quote and the most cash for your iPhone. It's simple, fast, and secure. What is going on guys? Joe here back with another video and today we'll be talking about iOS 9 beta 4. Uh, so this was just released for developers. So if you are on beta 3, go ahead and update to beta 4 as this is going to be a little more stable. But we're going to go over some of the features that is now available on beta 4. Now these aren't gonna be anything crazy, but there are some little things here and there that got updated or tweaked. So first we'll start off with settings. So in the settings app, you will notice that the notifications icon is now red instead of it being gray. But if we scroll down, we have our battery icon that's gonna be rounded now. And if we go into our music setting, we will also notice that we have home sharing now. Once again, that's back. In beta 3, they actually removed it. So now in beta 4, it's made a comeback. Now another thing is gonna be the handoff feature. So in previous beta for iOS 9, the handoff feature was actually a card right here, and then you'll be able to simply select it and then pick up where you left off from another device. But now the UI has changed, and now it is down here at the bottom. It's gonna be a little banner. So you'll be able to see uh, the handoff, whatever application you're handing off. And for instance, mine is Safari. So I can pull this up and then uh, it'll pull up Safari, whatever app that I was on. So that's gonna be new to beta four. Now when it comes to the photo picker on the web, the interface has changed. So we'll go ahead and go into Twitter here, upload a photo real quick, there it goes. So now you see at the bottom, it looks just like native applications. So you'll be able to select a variety of things from photo library, iCloud drive, or you can go into more and then select third party applications. So you can upload photos from Dropbox, Google Drive, OneDrive, and things of that sort. Now we're using the camera application in beta three, they actually removed the feature where you can simply press the volume up button and then it'll snap a photo. So this would be the shutter button. So now you'll be able to press the volume up button once again, and then it'll snap a photo. Now in the music application, when you go into the little options here, we now have the ability to heart that song, start a radio station from that current song, and we also have larger album artwork with the information right next to that. Also when switching applications, for instance, I go into a link here. When you get the back button right here, the activity indicator is actually right here on the right side. So we'll check that out one more time. So if you see there, uh, it'll have the little activity indicator on the top right. So now you'll be able to see that when the back button is visible. And lastly, we'll talk about picture in picture using the podcast application. So now in the podcast app, You'll be able to have picture in picture as you see there so you'll be able to move this around uh, so if you're watching a video from the podcast app you'll not be able to use pip aka picture in picture so you can still view that video from the podcast while you're doing other things now before we conclude this video let's take a quick look at our sponsor so if you're looking to sell your iphone i'd recommend checking out sellcashier.com now with sellcashier they purchase iphones from all major u.s carriers they're currently operating in the US, but it's very simple. All you gotta do is select the iPhone that you're trying to sell, and it can range from the iPhone 4 all the way up to the iPhone 6 Plus. After you select the model, then you'll simply select the carrier, then the storage size and condition, and after that, you get an instant quote. Now from there, if you're satisfied with the quote, all you gotta do is provide the shipping information and then choose a shipping option. Now what's awesome is that Cell Cashier provides a prepaid label in a box for free, so if you want to do that, you can go ahead and select that, but you can also ship it out with your own box and label. Now after that, all you got to do is select the payment method. You can either do a check or PayPal. PayPal will be the fastest, of course. And lastly, you just click on sell now and then you just sold your iPhone. I've personally used Sell Cashier in the past to sell a couple of old iPhones. And I can definitely say it's very simple, fast, and secure. It's as simple as getting a quote, shipping out your iPhone, and then getting your cash money. But anyways, guys, it's pretty much going to wrap it up for this video. If you did find additional features for iOS 9 Beta 4, let me know with a comment down below. But as always, go ahead and hit that like button if you did enjoy this video, as it not only lets me know that you liked it, but it also supports the channel. And if you're not yet following me on social media like Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Plus, or Instagram, all of the links are down below in the description. I'm very active on Twitter and Instagram, so go ahead and follow me on those. That way you'll be up to date with whatever's going on. Also, if you feel like being awesome, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That way you won't miss any future videos. But uh, yeah, thanks a lot for watching, guys, and uh, catch you all on the next one. All right? Peace.